India, it is ranked third in the egg production, fifth in the broiler production. We are very happy. But there is a footnote, if you see that, that there is a lot of production which is coming from the backyard. It's about, the backyard system represents 37% of the India's poultry production system. They contribute approximately 17 to 18 production, 18% 18 of the national egg production. So this demonstrates a very high efficiency in our rural systems. The FAO has been advocating that these systems, these decentralized systems are very vital to the productions that we have in the villages. Why is backyard or a small holder poultry, you know, how does it work and why does it work? It works because there are four pillars which enable it to become sustainable and easy to do. First is the economic access, that is the flock sizes are small, the investments are very little. It is 80% led by the women. So it also, you know, it, it's, it's, in itself, it, is called, it, it promotes women empowerment and it's an ecological fit that the birds that are there in the village, villages, they don't depend upon the feed that is uh, given by the feed mills. What happens is that these birds consume kitchen waste, worms, and whatever is the organic matter which is available in the village environment. Once, about six, seven years back, we thought that small holder poultry or backyard poultry was just a marginal activity. That it's just, you know, people are doing it and it's not really contributing much or it's not making much of economic sense. But now, with the initiatives taken by various government agencies, including the private sector, it has become a structured livelihood system. There are many states, there are many programs which are run by the National Rural Livelihoods Mission, by the state livelihood missions, which have now transformed this into a complete structured sort of a movement that has been taking place in the villages. <laughs>